Alrighty guys, I'm Casey and welcome to my tutorial series guiding you through a game called Minecraft. Now, there are a million and one different tutorial series out there and they all seem to start in the same place. How to create your world, how to get started in the game. They assume that you've already bought the game, they assume you've installed the game, and they assume that you know how to play around with the basic settings in the launcher. I'm not talking about in-game settings, I'm talking about pre-game settings. And so I decided that with my tutorial series, we're going to start with episode 0, which is going to show you where to buy Minecraft, tell you the differences between the different versions of Minecraft, what is the difference between Java and Bedrock. Should you buy it on console? Should you buy it on PC? Do you buy it on Windows 10 or do you buy the Java version? We're going to cover all of that and then we're going to look at how to launch Minecraft and how to get your game running as best as possible. How you can get better frame rate, how you can get better performance, all of those little tidbits that make playing Minecraft a more fun experience. We're also going to cover how to play older versions of Minecraft and how to install snapshots should you want to play in newer versions of Minecraft. Don't know what snapshots are? We'll cover that later on. But in a little snippet, they are beta performances of future updates. Basically, early access and anyone can get them. So we are going to jump right in to this tutorial. The first place you want to begin is obviously buying Minecraft. And where do we buy Minecraft from? Well, there's only really one place to get it. And that is the official Minecraft website. The website is simply www.minecraft.net and it will take you straight to it. And immediately, you can figure out where we get Minecraft from. It says it right here. Get Minecraft in a big green button. But if we scroll down the page, you can see that there are three different Minecrafts on this page. And this may start confusing you immediately. What is the difference between these? Well, actually, these are completely different. If you want the Minecraft game that you see everywhere, that you know and love, that is this game. 99 times out of 100, this is a Minecraft that you want. Minecraft Dungeons is a new and upcoming RPG style game using Minecraft. And then you've got Minecraft Earth. This is very similar to Pokemon Go. It is on your mobile phone. You go around the world outside taking pictures and you find blocks to mine and you can build stuff and leave structures around. But that's another series for another time. So we're going to just scroll back up the page and we're going to click Get Minecraft. So once you click the Get Minecraft button, you are brought to this screen. This shows us the varying different platforms that we can buy the game on. The game is available on pretty much any platform that you can think. If we click Console, you can see this is on legacy consoles like the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360 and newer consoles. But let's assume that you want to play on the PC and you want to play like your favorite YouTuber plays and that is more than likely on a computer. And when we go to the computer, there's three different options and you can click the one that is more convenient for you. Obviously, I'm playing on PC, so I'm going to click PC. But once I click that, I am brought to two different versions and the confusion is real. Which version do we pick? Do we pick the Java version, which calls itself classic version? Now, this is the most popular version. This is more than likely the version that you are watching other people play on YouTube. The Minecraft Windows 10 edition does support other features that the Java version doesn't do. For example, you could play the Minecraft Windows 10 edition on your PC and your child or your daughter or your son could be on the Xbox One playing the exact same version and you could link up. You could play cross-platform. With the Java edition, you can't do that. You can only link up with other people who have the Java edition. Now, don't click away from these videos and think, okay, you're doing the Java edition, I'm doing the Windows 10 edition, your tutorial isn't going to be useful to me. The vast majority of how to play Minecraft is the same across different platforms. So we're going to focus only on the Java edition, but the tutorial Let's Play will still be relevant no matter where you are. Then you are brought to this screen, and then all you've got to do is click Buy Minecraft. Once you click Buy, it is going to bring up this very simple screen and all you need to do is insert your email address insert a password give yourself a date of birth or you can just simply log in then you need to verify your email address i'm assuming you know how to verify email addresses every website and their grandmother has them all you do is go to your email find the link click it and it will verify for you then bye 
insert your credit card details, simply enter the details there and then download the game and install as you normally would any other game. I'm not going to go too much into installing here because it requires me to actually remove Minecraft from my computer to reinstall it and I'm not prepared to do that with all the worlds and details that I have on Minecraft. Once you have downloaded and installed Minecraft, you will be greeted with this screen and all this screen requires you to do is simply enter the email address in which you purchased Minecraft with, enter your password and then log in. Once you've logged in, it will bring you to this screen and for the most part your screen will look identical to mine. Obviously my name is up here and down here. And if you look down here, you can see yourself having all the different installations of Minecraft that you have installed. You can have various different profiles using various different settings. I've got Optifine because Optifine is awesome and we'll cover that in a little bit. But for the most part, we're just going to go down to this button and click play and that will launch the game for you. No more things needed. However, you may be a bit of a computer nerd or you may want to simply make Minecraft run better or more specifically to your specifications. And for that we can go to installations here and this will list all the installations that we have installed. If we click new we can then go ahead and install a new installation. If you click version here this will allow you to scroll through all officially released versions of Minecraft. Now, the further down this list you go, the less features you are going to have. There are things that are only available in certain versions of Minecraft. Back in 1.14, there was a time you could get pretty much God Armor, which was armor with ridiculous enchants on it. That's no longer in the game. So you may want to play on an older version and then upgrade. Now, at any point during the game, if you decide that you want to start on version 1.8.8, .8, you can go up to all of these other releases as and when you like. However, you cannot go back. So never go back in release order, go forward. You may we can then set ourselves a resolution, but we can also go into more options here. And this gives us access to this particular line of code here. But what we're going to look at is this number here. Your number may be different, mine is 2G signifying 2 gigabytes. This is the amount of RAM that I am willing to give Minecraft. Your main say MB there, that is fine, it works. Then we can go ahead and create it. We can obviously name our installation here and we can also set ourselves a nice little thingy here, a nice little icon for it. But I'm not going to worry too much about that because I have this profile called Optifine and we'll get into Optifine in just a little bit. Remember in the beginning of this episode, I talked about the fact that you can actually play betas. You can actually play what is called snapshots. And if we click up, if we look up here, you can see that we have a snapshot button. If we click that, it brings up this profile showing us the latest snapshot available for Minecraft. Now, when playing in snapshots, be very, very careful. These snapshots are beta releases and they really are beta releases. I have played in snapshots before and I have had a completely corrupted world. I have played in snapshots and everything has been perfectly okay. The best thing to do is to wait till this latter letter here turns to B. But if we click new here and we now look underneath this where we saw the latest releases, we can see that now we have access to all of these different snapshots. Now you may notice that there are some pre-versions here. This is the final build before it's released. These are usually riddled with very minor bugs and are perfectly safe 99% of the time. But sometimes they can break worlds. So I must stress, if you are ever playing in a snapshot, if you are ever playing in a pre-release, make sure you have backed up your world. Make sure you have a copy of your world. Make sure it is safe. And this is very easy to do. As soon as you load up in a version that you haven't played before, Minecraft will ask you before you load the world if you would like to make a backup. It is that simple, but we will cover backups a little bit later because for the most part, you will be playing in the latest release. I know we are in this series, but now we're going to talk about this here. This is called Optifine. Minecraft can be a load on your computer. And this can often result in laggy and low frame rates. 
And you can do a lot of things in game to change that, but the best way to do it is to simply have a mod called Optifine. Optifine is considered vanilla because it doesn't change anything in the game itself. It doesn't change the blocks, it doesn't change the gameplay. All it does is make it a little bit easier on your computer and you can often get better frame rate and better performance, especially if you are playing on a low-end PC or a low-end laptop. Optifine may be essential. Just like Minecraft, Optifine has pre-releases. Although this isn't going to damage your world because we can always take Optifine out and it will not touch our world in the slightest. So where do you get Optifine from and how do you download and install Optifine? Well, let's go and cover that now. Now, before you run or install Optifine, you are going to want to load the game up at least once in the latest release. So all we're going to do is click play. Down at the bottom here, it is going to prepare it for us. It will download anything that it needs to and it will install anything extra that it needs to. So now Minecraft is run, we're good, we can close this down, and you can close it down one or two ways. You can either click quick game or click the X, it doesn't make much of a difference. And once we're done that, we're going to head on over to a website called Optifine, that's O-P-T-I-F-I-N-E dot net. And once we're here, we're, we're greeted with a very simple website, there's nothing fancy and it tells you all about the mod itself. What we want to do is we want to go to downloads and we want to look for the version of Optifine that matches the version of the game we are playing. So 1.14 here, 1.13 here, but obviously we're going to play in 1.15. So we don't see any of that here because obviously it isn't out for 1.15 yet. But if we click, click preview versions, we can see that actually it is. We've got Optifine here and we can look at the date to determine which one is the most recent and we can click download you can click the download button or you can click the mirror button i click the mirror button because it usually takes you to this page and it's much easier rather than going through various different channels and then all you do is click download preview and this will start the download right here so let's go ahead and click keep and then what we're going to do is just click to open this now if you're using microsoft edge if you are using Opera or Firefox, you may have a different downloading screen here, but all you really need to do is just simply run the file that it downloads. And again, just like the Minecraft download, just like the installer for Minecraft, this isn't going to install any additional bloatware or anything that is going to install something on your computer that you don't want. This is only going to install one thing, and that is Optifine. And all we need to do is select our Minecraft folder. By default, it is already selected and you do not need to do anything. But sometimes computers can be a little iffy and you may have to go and find it. You can see here where to find it is just simply in your users. Then you pick your user, not the KC where it says my user. Then it's an update, a roaming, and then the .minecraft folder. It's that simple. And all we're going to do is click install. So with that installed, all we need to do now is click the big green play button. I wish they'd give us a big red button. That would be so much cooler. And it's going to do the exact same thing, and it is going to launch Minecraft. So that is everything about how to install Minecraft, how to set up a very simple mod that is going to give you better frames per second and create a much smoother gaming experience overall. It has also had a buy Minecraft and the difference between the basic main versions of Minecraft. Now this tutorial series is going to focus primarily on the Java edition. But like I said, a lot of what you learn here can be transferred over into the other versions of Minecraft. This is episode zero because it's not really part of the Let's Play. But I will be doing it as a tutorial Let's Play, which means everything I do, I will be doing in survival i will not be cheating to make things easier for me that's going to do it for this episode of the tutorial series guys if you've enjoyed the video please do consider leaving a like it really helps out the channel and i really do appreciate it so please do leave me that like and click that big red subscribe button if you want to see more from me guys i'm casey i want to thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye